welcome back to my channel. This is Dori, I'm a teacher of English and today we're going to have a look at a model answer of IELTS speaking part 2. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is our part 2 topic. Let's read it. Describe the most popular sports in your country. You should describe what the sport is and if you do it or watch it. Say what is the purpose of this activity and its basic rules. Say what you like or dislike about it and explain why you think it's so popular in your country. Uh, well, these bullet points over here that you can see here, four of them, will greatly, greatly help you to be organized while you speak. So follow the card and take it step by step. Uh, one bullet at a time. Keep in mind that you are asked to talk in the form of a monologue for two minutes, so try to be as detailed and talkative as possible without getting off topic. Also, if you tend to pause a lot between sentences or doing a lot of ums and stuff like that, try to eliminate these as much as you can as they will count against you in your score. Instead, try to connect your ideas together to connect the topic of the bullets together with, uh, you know, with uh, several expressions. This lesson over here, I will put the link, will help you very, very much with that. So now let's go and have a look at the model answer. So let's begin with the first point. I'm going to, I'm going to read it not as a written text, but as I would uh, say that while speaking, okay? Let's go. In my country, there are a lot of popular sports, but the most popular of all is by far football. To be honest, I must be the exception as I neither play football nor watch it on TV, but uh, the majority of people do where I live. They either play it or watch it or even both. Okay, as you can see here, you answered the first bullet point, which is describe what the sport is and if you do it or watch it. You briefly introduce the topic uh, with an opening sentence and then you chose the sport and talked about what you asked as much as you could. Now it's, it's time to move on to the next bullet point. Let's read the next bullet point. Say what is the purpose of this activity and its basic rules. So now let's move on a little bit further. Okay, let's read it. Actually, the rules of the sport are rather simple. There are two teams of 11 players and each team tries to score a goal. As it is easily understood by the name of the sport, the players have to use their feet only, which is what makes the sport quite difficult, in my opinion. The game lasts for 90 minutes and the team that wins is obviously the one which has scored the most. If players violate the rules in any way, uh, they take a yellow or a red card, in which case the player is eliminated and this is something that obviously affects the whole team. So, try to say as much as you can on topic in each bullet point so as to cover the two minutes and ideally you should do that without pausing or wasting time to think about it. As you can see, you can still talk about something even, even if you don't know a lot of things about it as in this case. So, now let's move on to the next point which is say what you like or dislike about it. Well, I guess the reason I don't enjoy football as much as the majority of people do has to do with the fact that I'm a woman and usually we're not interested in football. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, but I'm not one of them, I'm afraid. I find it rather boring, to be honest, and I get tired waiting for a team to score. Sometimes it takes ages. I must have watched the football game, uh, I don't know, once or twice in my life and probably because it was a very important game for our national team at the time or something like that. Okay, and now bullet number four. Time to conclude. Explain why you think it's so popular in your country. Overall, I think football is very popular all around the world, not only in my country. Men and women, but especially men, have a favorite team that they follow and they absolutely adore it. So for them, it makes sense to watch each and every game of this team as the team 
gets benefits as long as it wins. Obviously, I'm not an expert on that, but so I've heard. Also, it is a form of entertainment and expression for fans, a way out, if you will. Most people play too, or they have in the past, so for them it is quite exciting to watch the moves of uh, professional football players. I guess uh, for these reasons, and possibly many more that I'm not familiar with, Football will remain the most popular sports for years to come. Okay, this is an example of a model answer for part two. Probably the men who watch that will laugh at my answer. But you know what? I did this on purpose in order to show you that um, you can, there is no right or wrong answer. And you, could, you can talk about a topic even if you're not familiar with something. As long as you're organized and you talk as much as you can on each bullet uh, point, on, on topic of course, fluently, without a lot of pauses, and you connect your ideas together in a very you know, cohesive, in a very smooth way. If you don't know something very well, it doesn't matter, just state that beforehand and start talking about it as you would in your mother language. And please don't pause or panic or things like that. Take advantage of the fact that you don't know something. Okay, this answer was probably band 9. You don't have to be that perfect at all, no. Uh, but as long as you keep this organization in your mind and you aim for that, I'm sure that you will do great. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps. If this is your first time here, I would like to see you subscribe for more videos related to English. If you have any questions or comments, you can ask me here or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and of course my website. All links are down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.